Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence. I spent some time down in Seguin, Texas at RK3 Designs, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of creative time I spent with Stacy Franklin at Artisan Designs Concepts. So we are going to play with resin on one of my wooden trays. Here we go. Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence and Stacy Franklin. You know, my maiden name was Lawrence. Really? It was. Mm -hmm. So Stacey Franklin with Artisan Design Concepts here. We're over at RK3 Designs. Uh, Rhonda Draculius and did I get it? Yeah, Draculius. 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 Rhonda, don't hurt me. <laughs> She'll in forgive Kenny's me. place. And uh, <laughs> we are in Creative Heaven. They're doing a pro class. Definitely check them up. I'm going to put links in the description below for everybody. But we're also having a creative brainstorming session and uh, we're gonna play with some dirty pores today yeah. and we're just exploring so yeah. we're gonna tag you along for it you've seen me do enough dirty pours that hopefully you understand the process so this is fun for me because I don't do a lot of dirty pours I do countertops and tables and showers and not a lot of art so I get to learn from you today mm -hmm. I've been learning so much from you already so we're good all right I mean a big cup so we're doing trays or I'll be back what well, what happened? Oh, I still have my clear. Oh no, I just used my same clear one. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, we're good. So, in case you're looking at what colors we're doing, I um, oh, was I supposed to save some clear? Okay. So I'm using dark turquoise from Just Resin, Breakfast at Tiffany's from Just Resin, Silver Halo Just Resin, Color Obsessions 007. Snow White from Color Obsession, and this fun little color shifting powder that is to be released soon. Mmm, so check with Erica. Uh-huh. She's got some magic coming on. So, and this is uh, one of Erica's lines, too, which is, oh, uh, no, wait a minute, you didn't hear that, that loop, loop. rewind. <laughs> you heard nothing? We don't know, she's playing with us, so we'll have to see what happens. We'll see what it looks like. That too. That I don't know. That too. So if you can't tell, I like teals and you know all that my favorite color. So I figured, why not? And I've been rating everything under the sun, so I'll try to hopefully get all the colors out there. Um, phthalo blue, just resin, which is a nice transparent, but I doctored it and added some other stuff. So we did a stone coat. Crater Lake um, powder in there just to add a little bit of opacity to it. Um, I've got, well, let's just say it's glitter bananas right now because it's got a halo in there. It's got diamond dust in there. It's got some of the new chameleon powder in there. And then this guy here is some of the Color Passion Black. So it help maybe bring in some cells into this. And also, but just a little bit. And then I've got Crater Lake in there, again, just to kind of help tie it in to add more color to it. So, going to be simple. And a little Snow White, Snow White for you too, right? We're going to share yes. that. Yes, Snow White we're sharing. I'm trying to make sure I don't, you know. All right, I'm going to pour a little I'm going to pour a little of your black. Is this black? Yeah, it's mostly black. There's a little blue in there. I'm just going to, I just want a little drizzle. Yeah, go for it. In the middle of all this craziness. So, you need about that much, so let me give you the okay. tray and you can pour. And it's... I usually go close to the edge, but I'm not worried about getting exactly to the edge. Okay. Because when we're tilting and twirling and all that, I'll just put it right on top until you're ready. Yeah, I'm going to move some of this stuff Then, the then when I move the color to the edge, it, it gets there and it, it gets to that point. All right. I don't know if it's sticky, but. Um, well, you got these guys, so it'll be a fine. Okay. And then we'll just grab it with clean hands when we're done. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. I'm used to big old samples big old platters and, and stuff. Counters and this is a fun one. You get to use it yourself. That's me. Cool. You know, my daughter laughed because I made something. Or my husband does turning, wood turning, and and, and epoxy turning does on he handles. Really? Yeah, so he makes epoxy I, handles. Uh -huh. And uh, he made me a pizza cutter with all my colors in it. Uh -huh. And my daughter just sees us sell everything. So I said, look, I get to use it. And she goes, we get to keep some of the stuff that we make. <laughs> Can I put in an order for mine, right? right? <laughs> so here, put a little bit of okay. just to make sure, and then we can put the rest of it in whatever 
color we want to. So we want to add others. Is that about right? Yeah. We're going to be, we're gonna be stretching it, it super thin. Should I dump it the rest or no? No. Nah. Okay. So let's see, what color are, am I going to be using from your stash here? I think just the white. Well, I'm still adding here. You got turquoise. Here we go. Ooh, y'all did the glass. Yeah, there was some extra resin around and we had to, we had to use it. I probably think you'd have to use a primer on that, huh? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shop glass, so. <laughs> I'm hoping this gold doesn't take over because I was watching Erica say, this gold's taking over, but it's so pretty. It's like, I can't help myself. Yeah, you probably got enough foam. Probably, oh, yeah, do I? Probably got enough foam. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Sorry. <laughs> you got on it. You got on the dirty pour. You were you were excited. I pretty much should have. Yeah, maybe I should have waited and uh. All right. Not added so much. Whoopsie. Hey, y'all so, ever tried this with white instead of the black with different, but just lighter colors? It doesn't really work, or with the white, all that does, the other colors show through. So in case you're watching here, we have a student that is asking us a question oh, about okay. a sample board. Oh, it's oh, no, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on over. Wait, they, we got a class going on, the pro class. I already right. talked about right. it. So. The guys are doing the build day today, so we get to come play inside. So we did a peacock granite yesterday. So if you didn't see that, you can watch Artist and Design Concepts, and we have it live on our Facebook and tagged Artist Till Death and RK3 Designs on mm -hmm. it if you want to see. Um, so typically we do start with black on that because it, to get it that darker granite, but it would absolutely work with a lighter color. But black is still the, the spray paint that's going to fracture the best when you hit it with alcohol. Yeah. Got it. But you can still start with a lighter base and see what it does. Okay. So and if it. anything, I would encourage you to do a test. Yeah. You know, and you can even do sections of like, try different spray paints on each section, see which one reacts the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where my creative brain goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it goes all over the place. I was gonna leave this one behind for Rhonda. Oh, I'm well, sure especially since as I can't really take tray, oh, you right. know, on the road too. Yeah. You know, there is that. Right. You're leaving tonight? Yeah. How far do you live from here? Oh yeah. Hi there, hour and a half. See, I want to keep getting that gold. It's still calling my name. I need to keep it. Take away the gold. <laughs> hey Rhonda, that's enough. No. <laughs> Take away Rhonda. Now you know, y'all. I could just leave it in this cup. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> well, you could. Actually, my a big old brick. No, my husband would use this and turn this out to be an amazing handle. So anything you see in there, it would be all. I'm, I might send him some some cups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Have fun. He does amazing stuff. But he. I hope you didn't want any more teal. Oh no, I, I think I'll get. Because I just ounces. killed it. I'm at about six. Is that about? Is that enough? You think? Six ounces? Or do I need to keep more? I'm gonna do a little more. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm Where's the big blue? I mean. I'll add the rest of this guy. And that means I'm kind of out of that other till. And that one's done too? You want a nice brilliant blue I'll, in there? I'll take, no, I don't think so. But I'll oh. add a little okay. bit. Maybe this black. And then I'll throw in a little more of the white. I think I forgot about the white for a little bit. Sometimes you never know. A color sometimes disappears. Right. Sometimes it goes, whoo, I'm going to be star. So I'm going to run it in there. So maybe I'll use the rest of my... Uh, Fairy farts. That's right. what I call the halo. <laughs> it's a fairy fart, but it's gorgeous. I used a bunch of it with that the the diamond dust stuff, and it was fluttering around all over the place. It's like a whole bunch hair. of fairies went to a bean buffet and yep. came over and hung out with me for a while. Yeah, it's there was sparkles everywhere. So we're about seven ounces plus the clear. Mm -hmm. I think I'm all right. And I'm going to teach you two mm -hmm. dirty, board, uh, dirty pour techniques if I can get it out of my mouth. Okay. One might freak you out. Uh oh. But I'll do the I'm freak out. I'm not easily scared or anything. If you're not easily scared, this is good. I should be able to. You look like you kind of take charge and like dive in. I live in California, girl. Okay. There's some scary people out there. <laughs> There's scary people everywhere. That's true. <laughs> There's some weirdos. I'm gonna leave a little white in there in case we want to draw some white lines. Sometimes in the dirty pour mm -hmm. are really pretty. Let's 
go through this carefully. So my dominant color is going to be this blue. It's so pretty. Where are my inner markings? I'm not even paying attention. No, I'm only at four. I'm only going to on that. It's like, you better start dumping. Yep. These are all empty. You've got black left, and you've got your, uh, your glitter creation. Glitter bonanza. Mm -hmm. So should I move this around my board? Is, yeah, um, go ahead and spread need, it out. Do I need clean gloves for that, or does yeah. it matter? No, I wouldn't worry about it. Unless they're like really black or something like that. Just remnants of a little teal, bit. I'd say. Okay. And you said get all the way to the edge or pretty close to it's it? Kind of close, you know, like a quarter of an inch away at least. And the reason for that, and most of you guys know this already, but if you don't, um, it just helps for me having the colors glide on top better. If you don't, the colors kind of grab the wood and they roll underneath it as you're moving along. So you might lose something that's really pretty on the top. Okay. So, huh? We are creating. So, yeah. And the wood, uh, what I do is when I'm ready to put it into the dust zone, that's when I will hit it with an alcohol rag if you get any resin on the outsides or spots you don't want it. Got it. Because it'll happen. Inevitably, like I just did, <laughs> you mean putting it on the outside of the wood? Oh, I was just doing it myself. <laughs> You're like, is that why? Uh, yeah, I'm a slob. I, I you know. And now, do you ever feel, um, cause I, do you ever tape the inside so it doesn't go up on the sides or is that just not necessary? Ever? I prep when it's important. If I can get away with cleaning up afterwards, I don't, so barely. Okay. All right. Now, if it's one of those things I might be doing some massive tilting on it, like if I wanted to do a beach thing and I really wanted to tilt it, and control where it goes and want it to go thick on an end, I might do it then. And that's the only thing. I'm trying to think in my head where it might be a, a point of it. You know how, like Ron, uh, Rhonda, Erica was doing yesterday with the beach pour and she had that, the wave, but it also was bare here. Right. yeah. And I wanted to go there, so most likely the resin would be really thick here. Right. So I might tape it at that point. Got it. And then just pull it as soon as you're done with the trick. Got it. All right, I'm gonna wait to pour this pretty thing until I watch you do it. <laughs> Actually, you're going first. Me? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Because I don't want to freak you out when I do mine. Because it'll be like, boom, and you're like, ha, ha, I don't know if I can do that. Did we bring all the paper towels? I know you talked about things. I got a couple and they were over there, but I'll get some more. <laughs> I'm sure they got you. I'm going to do a flip cup, but she's going to freak out on it. Are you telling the audience that you're going to freak out? No, just, yeah. <laughs> you you. I don't know why, but whenever I do the first cut, pour, see, there are wards just staring again. Uh, first pour and I'm spreading it out at home, I always change out my gloves before I start working on my color. Yeah, it's just, well, because it's going to bleed through. So we can get some clean ones. I mean, you know, make sure. Oh, I'll, I'll keep, find one. Like I don't want to keep touching my beautiful outside. And well, there's it. that. Okay. Do you want another pair? Sure. What size? Medium. Blah, sticky. There you go. That's my worker. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. Now yeah, we got to get them on sweaty hands. That is the furthest. Luckily, not too hot. Rhonda, I almost lost it when she was talking about get, getting these on. It's kind of like getting on wet jeans. Mm -hmm. You know, after over, it's like, dang, get it off. Yeah. Okay, so what I normally do is, let me get it. Nope, I don't have an empty cup. Yeah. Is I get the cup down pretty close to it, and sometimes I'll even touch it a little bit, but with a longer cup, you'll, you'll end up doing Dumping that. It over. And then just pouring ever so slowly, and sometimes I'll do a big S. Sometimes we'll do a big C. It depends on what you want to do. And then just when you come up, just whatever you do, you just keep your motion smooth. So even if it crosses over, it's still a nice clean line. Okay. And then you're done. Okay. Okay, and just mm -hmm. let it all out. Alrighty. You got it. You get this. 
Okay, so start towards the edge and then work my way towards the center. Like if I'm gonna go in a circle? Probably or? if you were to pour, kind of pour on this down. Starting here. So about, say about an inch and a half away. From the edge. Yeah, because okay. it'll, it'll go black anyway. It'll spread right. quickly. Okay. So you're pouring in a lot of resin. And I'm gonna go in a circle, so I'm working my way to the outside. If you wanna work your way towards the middle. I don't know. I don't know. Too many choices. Okay. Well, do you like S's or C's? When it comes to epoxy, I don't think Stacey. I have an alphabet friend. It's just, you know. Do an S. Let's see. Stacey. Right. I Typically, I guess I do usually do S's, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm pouring things out. And so once I do the S, keep coming around to fill in the rest of it. Just keep going until you can get that drip up nicely. Okay. And you could also squeak your hand in there, your other hand in there to pick up the drip if you need it to. Uh, pour the whole thing out. Dump it out. Dump, dump. Oh, more, more, more tilt, more, more tilt, more tilt. tilt. Slowly. And then make that cookie bite. And sometimes I'll rotate the cup around. To, there you go. You got it yet? This um, looks pretty. Okay, so I see what happens when you go too slow. You get like you get, you get the squiggles. Scales. Yeah, the squiggles okay. and stuff. I like that though. That's cool. Here's the amazing part. The yeah, cup always pretty. looks gorgeous. Okay, now. Okay. Get a heat gun. Heat up a little bit. Just get rid of your bubbles. And also kind of liquefy so a little bit. So heat gun versus torch? No, I don't have a torch in my house, so we're not. I got the little torch. Way faster. Yeah, I'm dealing with professional. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Okay. Okay. And then what I would do is just pick it up and just ever goes ever so slowly to the edge. Once it just barely touches, make contact, then you just slowly turn around. So you've already got one hitting the edge, and that would be a good way. And then it puts it ends up putting a little bit of a spin on your dirty pour. So just pick one direction and stay with it the whole way through. And since you got it nice and liquidy, it's going to move pretty quick. You got it. Just keep the rotation going. I'm gonna go slow so I don't ruin all those cool effects in there. It'll move. Sometimes they expand out. Sometimes other stuff comes up. And you see what I mean by it sometimes out, putting a spin? Yeah. And sometimes what's really interesting is you might have a nice little swirl pattern, and by the time you spin it around, next thing you know, you've got a straight lines. It's like, how did I do that? Sometimes you got straight lines in the beginning, and sometimes you're going to need a little curve. It's hard to reproduce them. Again. You got nice little soap in there. Look at yeah. that. I see some more popping up on the other side, too. And then when you're done, just tilt it in a way that you want it to, like, okay, I want that to be the feature in the middle or on the side. Got it, got it. Okay. And then let it rest. Since you guys are probably having a hard time, we're going to get in a little closer. Alright, now it's playtime. That wasn't playtime? That was the appetizer. Ooh. What do I have to do to it? Look at all that shimmer. Woo! I love it. The squiggles might end up turning out really interesting. Yeah. You never know. And sometimes more cells will come up later on. Right. Because it's a little thicker than probably your other dirty pores. Mm -hmm. So what you can do if you want, you can find an area that you want to um, pour a little thicker of a certain color. Uh -huh. You can draw some lines with your gold. Okay. In there, um, you can accent the white. You can even bring out, uh, but I would recommend following your lines. Follow whatever pattern. Yeah, follow like. the design that's yeah. already starting to go there. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour my next. Yeah, I'll pick up. All right. Now just a hair. Hopefully I'm projecting my voice enough. I don't even know if I am or not. I used all my, oh no, you took it away from me. I <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to do my next. <gasps> okay. So there's two different ways of doing a dirty pour that most common techniques. 
you're familiar with this one probably the most and the traveling and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah. The other one is just it's a flip, flip cup. cup. So I have the I have the funnest time with those. Uh -huh. I've done a few of them. You have? I have. And just watching it like move. Darn, I thought I was going to show you some. Oh, no, I've done it. <laughs> but I did it more before resin days, like just playing with acrylic. You oh, know. Acrylic pouring and uh -huh, stuff? Yeah. But it's so much more fun to watch this and to see how it all, you know, comes out. Uh-huh. And how some people, though, poke a hole in the top. Yeah, the lift. The air the and the vacuum right. release and stuff like do that. Do you do that or no? No. I'm not worried about it. I just, you know, fill out for a little bit. Right, let it sink down. Chit chat for a little bit, give mm -hmm. it some time. But I find that the cells develop differently. Right. And sometimes you get bigger blocks of color. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a lot of really tiny details, but two side by side will right. look very different. Right. Cool. So. I see, do I even see that little halo in there? I guess maybe. A little bit. I see some little peekaboos. Sometimes it gets dispersed. Sometimes you get little lines. But I do have enough really if you want to do some lines. And this is like heavily concentrated. All right. So what I do with the flip cups when I pull them up is I pick it up and I kind of do this bit real quick. There's a lot of it little blub out. Look, you've done flip cup. You already know that. Try to burp it out. Same kind of thing, I just kind of twirl it up. Yep. Yeah. Hey. That looks like the world. Like, right? I did another pa pa planet a couple days ago. <laughs> it's like, how did I do a planet? Yeah. No nope. one's a dead. I said dead. Okay. She's going to laugh at me. <laughs> This weekend, or this week was the first time I ever used a torch. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. I had one of those cute little, cute ones that, you know, you guys use and Erica uses. Mm -hmm. And I had that when I first started and quickly was like, that's not good. I can't, I can't torch a counter with that cute little thing. You, no, you need the, the, need the industrial size. Yeah. Yeah. I would be doing the same thing too. Uh -huh. We have a good dozen of them at any given time. So you're starting to see a little bit of the rolling under kind of thing. It right. really happens strongly when you have bare wood. So you kind of lose some of the effect. Mm-hmm. Like, no, Sal, don't disappear. And lark, there it goes. It's holding on. Mm-hmm. Can you talk and create at the same time, like when you're really focused and such? No. It's like my, my mouth just goes, bloop, shuts down. When I'm doing lives, uh, my husband Travis will say, well, talk to your people. I'm like, I'm focused on what I'm doing. That's why I have <laughs> you filming, to talk to my people. It's quite hard to focus and do at the same time. So sometimes I can. It depends on what I'm working on. Okay, if I'm on my own. See, I can't even say normal. No, 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 no. Cool. That's a glitter that fest. Sparkly. That's a glitter fest. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Alright, so to pull, you just drizzle it just like I normally would any other piece with the gold and just follow it mm -hmm. gently through. Let me get you a paper plate. I'll be right back. Okay. Paper plates now. Yes. So you don't just dip it out your cup. You just, so that way you don't get Wait too Wait a minute, much. you're talking about, oh, you're talking about the gold. I, I was thinking gold you're gonna pa do the paint. Oh. Well, mm. maybe we'll do both. We'll do your gold, however you like. Yes, and then I, I would dip it in and drizzle it, right, just like you're talking about. And are you going to do the silver one on yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. The question is, where do I want to put it? Try not to touch anything over there is tricky. <laughs> right yes. Let's see, gotta bring them all over. So what we're doing is just playing with the lines that are already in our piece. And bringing it up to life. Do I want any more sparkles in the sparkle bunny? Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. 
hard part is always getting the fine line and <laughs> getting the blob line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, get the blob and then just run your line through it again. That's what I'm going to do. Get it started for you. Mm -hmm. You blobbed and said, I'm stopping. Okay. Yeah. This is why you normally end up touching the sides with the color by accident. Like, nah. mm -hmm. So I'm just following the lines, which are actually kind of on the faint side because my colors are very similar. Do and you heat this up when you're done to move it at all? Or? Um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I have it so that the color fans out. Sometimes I don't. It depends on what I like. Now the sticks, I will try to almost run the stick through the resin again to break up what it looks like, you know, you add it by hand. Right. I got you. Got you. It's a little bare on this side. I have a deeper amount. I would just torture it and let it go, you know. Mm -hmm. Spray that little pity out a little bit. I'm going to encourage you to do what you, your gut tells you to do at this point. You know how to manipulate resin. Mm -hmm. Well, I see different things depending on where I'm standing. Remember, it has that weird color stuff? Yep. Shift, so I'm trying to Are you getting some shifting? Okay. Well, or it's just the gold hitting the light at a different spot. I don't know if the color shift really showed much in this. Maybe there's just too much color going on for it that. It might be. Yeah. Maybe so slightly. tried making my little point, you know, a little point there instead of uh, using so much, but it's not flowing off and sticking out. So, let's try this. So, I'm going to get some white here and push it over the black and we'll encourage cells and maybe, just maybe, I'll open it up where the sparkle bits show through the cells. Light is hitting this in such a strange way. I see very different things depending on where I'm standing. When you take this outside, <laughs> you're going to see a whole other world. Oh, I know. And I'll get all the sawdust that's getting created out there in there, too. Well, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it today. <laughs> so we're on Seguin, Texas, out in the country. And it's gorgeous out here. Rhonda's shop is huge, and she's gonna make it bigger. Aww. Oh, that gold just. Of course, I touch this eye. Don't worry about it until you're done. Because you know you're gonna do more. <laughs> it's really like there's so much of that gold that like became flakes. Mm -hmm. That like I want to shift this, but then I don't want it to blend even more. Good morning. Okay. I never thought glitter would be a contrast. Is that what it's creating? Well, it's kind of creating that. It's so bright. Oh, wow. It is bright. So we're also doing experiments here which help both of us grow as an artist feeding off of each other. Highly recommend it. You got some art buddies around. Even if you guys don't mess with the same medium, you can still get something out of it. I mean, we got woodworkers over here. We got, you know, guys who pull lace. I mean, come on. Do what now? Works with lathe and resin and oh, oh, a lathe. Like, yeah, painters and all kinds of individual skill sets. Mm -hmm. You never know where your inspiration is going to come from. I don't want to try that silver stuff in here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do this over tomorrow, but yeah, after this. All right, where did he go? What's over here? Plug in. Are you plugged in? You are. But it's got to be where it comes.
Everybody's got a different heat gun. Push it up really hard. Like real hard. Two times. Oh, there it is. There you go. That's it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a bone going on. So what I'm gonna try and do, I've got some cell stuff in the black here. And I'm gonna push the white over the over the black. And it'll go over the glare just enough. So I'll get some cells happening. And maybe some of the glitter will show through some of the cells. I don't know. Like too much because then I'm gonna get loose on my layers. Mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna let mm -hmm. that my peekaboo's in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like my little gold line. Oh, what are you gonna do about? No. Wanna add more? It's so hard from this. Like if you stand over here, it's not too gold. But you stand right in front of it, it's all gold. Yeah, I know. It lights crazy. Right over here, it's like normal. But I want. I was like. Mm. I, don't know. I was four or some bulk support. Yeah, and pinch it. You can pinch the Just cup. be bold. Go be for bold. It. Go for it. No fear. Mm -hmm. And if you want to tilt the gold in a different position, don't forget you can tilt your paint too. Later. All right. Go for it and be bold. Mm -hmm. A little better now. A little better? I'm gonna follow my other one too because okay. it kind of disappeared up there. I'm not sure that was you on me. <laughs> my phone is being mean. Somebody's trying to reach me. That's the notification that either we got a delivery, somebody opened the front gate. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that was. But. All right, so how do you fix a little squiggly guy? What I do is I just run my line through it and you come back to go a different path. Don't worry about going exactly on your gold line. Maybe do a parallel path. Just with my stick? Mm hmm Just to like pull it around. Like yeah. That. You go until you think your gold disappeared. And then, yep. Let me take this thing over there. Okay. Exactly. Just until Make it takes it care of it, but don't, yeah. it's easy to get, get over, overwhelmed and then do it too carry much. it away. There we go. Mm -hmm. Get the words out. Try yeah. to make it a feature of some sort? I would start at the beginning and then go back up a little bit. Following the line? Mm hmm Yeah. Right on top of it? Yeah. And then you can trail off whenever you feel like it. You mean like get cut, come out of it? Mm hmm Like okay. Let's see what it is. Oh, when I stand over it, those lights are crazy. Woo! <laughs> it's like gold threw up in this thing. Let's see if I... Sometimes. But I feel more comfortable pushing yes. color with a heat gun. Definitely. Versus a torch. Oh yeah. I just gonna have to. Oh no. I think I got hair in here. Oh no. I hate when that happens. You got a pointy thing, right? I'm just gonna come here. Yeah. Several. Okay, I don't know what 
Kalau ada There you go. Oh, hello, Wood. <laughs> go away now. You're not welcome in the party. <laughs> Peeking his little like, hey, I forgot I was under here. I thought it was way thicker than that. Like, I really felt like it's it. It's an illusion in there sometimes. Certainly yeah. is. Like, that one, this one, I felt like there was a lot more in there than, than what it was. Like. So and sometimes you can pour clear through it, and then the wood will show up underneath it. And that's fine, too. A little bit, so. I don't like it blooming a little bit. I could see it. <laughs> I'm holding my breath for you. <laughs> you can you breathe, that? Claire. You can breathe. I promise. You can breathe. You do the same thing too. I do. When other people are doing. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, she did it. She made it. I think I'm gonna leave this nice and simple. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, I think so. I need to add just a little something right here. Just a little peekaboo. Are you gonna want the heat gun? No. Okay. No, I will. Actually, yeah, I'll put it down. Maybe. Pretty cool. Do you need anything else? Would no. you have more gold at the bottom to like even that out or call that a day? If it were me, mm -hmm. I would go for it seriously with the gold because it's almost like a nice little accent kind of right. thing. But I'm talking about like adding a serious like amount of it to really? it and then taper it off. So like come right here just around this section? Mm-hmm. Hey mister! Hello. Girls. We are Love it. doing a video, dude. You okay. gotta come say hi. Awesome. We got Paul. I'm telling you what. Paul's too far. Right yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Say hello. I try hello. not to stick on your back. I here. thought <laughs> I thought these would be easier. Maybe I won't do them. No, I'm like counters. I I have That's a great. lot more space to work with. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. This is so tiny. Like it, it's you look I'm at sure. every little thing. Yeah, and you really, you, you can't. I would be doing the same thing on a larger surface. You really can't tilt this you, thing. Well, you can tilt it, but you don't want to over yeah, manipulate it. Yeah, you can't. You can. But then you'll have it on your uh, side, so. Well, a little bit, not yeah, much. Yeah, a little bit. you got to be careful of that. That's but I don't mind if it goes up the side a little bit and then comes back down. Yeah. It's because not. it almost looks like a clear line. Yeah. And it kind of helps seal it in. You'll put clear on it on top of it anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, in case somebody spills a drink, it's like, you're still covered. There you oh, go. See? I like that. Cool She's stuff. listening out. Look at that. We're playing outside, cool, but that's cool, cool stuff. You guys, wow, that's cool. We yeah, are playing. Cool. You guys aren't live. She's we're recording. not live, but we're recording, so say hi. <laughs> this is the hubby. You Mine. gotta come in more. My hubby. <laughs> this be Travis. Travis. <laughs> He's the builder. The hubby. He's the hubby. We're outside playing. Travis the builder. We're inside playing. Mm -hmm. We're working. This is creative process. Right. And if you buy that, I'll tell you something else. <laughs> if you buy that, I have a property for sale. <laughs> what about, how, how you like that? I like them. I like that. Okay. Now, are we like, we can stop here? <laughs> and this will make a beautiful finish. <laughs> are we at that point? Or do you want to do more? I don't know. I think we're good. You think we're good? I think if I do too much, this thing's going to become like... Rhonda, so. she's gonna walk away. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me bring you in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it sit and like marinate or something. As I grab the stick in my hand. Yeah, you're gonna play with it later on. I know you are, right? That's kind of cool. It's sitting on the very light. cool. Mm -hmm. I was a little afraid of that gold, but. Thought, but if oh, you I wanted to play with transparencies on this, you could and still show the background. If you wanted to do that later on. Yeah. yeah. No, it's cool. I like that. No, I it, Come on. Use this side. one. That looks like an eagle on this side. Yeah. 
What? Mine or hers? Yours. Mine? Really? Yes, from this side. Uh oh. Like, we got one of those that can see things. I was going to say uh -oh. that I was going to be walking away, but I'm maybe changing my mind. Uh oh. Okay, okay let me bring you in okay. for detail so on this one. Let me ask you. you. We have this little, you know, swirly bit here. Uh huh. At the bottom. Would you take the little bit that's left and follow this line, like on the outside, and maybe come in here? You see what I mean? Well, okay. Or so, over so I'm going a, I'm to a use her words on her. So, as a teacher, what would you say to said student? Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the face. She's like, hi, oh, give me my words. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the rolled eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say do what your heart says to do. Okay. What? What's interesting with hers? Okay. Yeah, so, so, over here is blue. Over here is like, wow, so much gold. So much gold. Yeah. It really okay. depends. But I was thinking to go like this and kind of come on the inside of this little curve and come down here or, mm -hmm. or even like come inside of this curvature just so that way I have a piece It's kind of already PC. that goldish kind of color that's like asking for it, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Go for it. I think I need to. I might, your gut. I might need to do what I tell people to don't do. Are you going to heat your paper cup with resin? I am. Okay. We're I'm not going to look at this. Right? You see nothing. Don't do those at home, children. <laughs> so don't be playing with resin if you're a children. Yeah, it's definitely don't do that. I all my videos, we have a thing now for YouTube about marketing yeah. it for, for youth and all this kind of stuff. It's like I automatically say no, no yeah. because we're dealing with chemicals, chemicals torches. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, let's pray. <laughs> Dear resin lord, please go where I want you to go. I have some friends of mine that talk about to so the color fairies that everything comes out fine. The color fairy was happy with me today. Yep. Right? Like, mm -hmm. it, it just said I needed something. Now, here's the thought. If you had done this, mm -hmm. it did not use any gold in this. Mm -hmm. And then you went in with the white in here. Mm -hmm. And you, so, that, so that meant none of your sparkle would be here. So more your dark turquoise would be coming up. Mm -hmm. and, and your uh, breakfast at Tiffany's and all that. Mm -hmm. By adding the white, you would have that ocean that's like right there oh i see in this but that's how much the gold changes this oh yeah it changes it a lot get that gold all the way to the end oh, trying to thin out my little tadpole but that's the only part about pouring out of these little cups you get the tadpole you can also heat it for a little bit with a heat. torch mm -hmm. and it might I'll heat it from oh, it's also the wood Okay, let's back it up. <laughs> well, heat is also going to make it spread versus it. No, I was feeling on my hands. <laughs> well, but I'm saying to not to, for not the tadpole effect. Yeah, that's true. But. All right. Cool. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up. Fun, fun.